and here we are back on the channel with another video I'm on the aerial rider grizzly riding around and today I want to talk about batteries more specifically lifespan of e-bike batteries I don't know of anybody that's had a battery not hold a charge anymore I'm sure it's happened but I don't know of anybody um, so and I haven't had myself one yet uh, give out on me so uh, not hold a charge anymore so I don't know what the lifespan exactly would be it might be a little bit different for everybody I'm sure but uh, when you buy the bike generally they say well at least from what I've read a thousand charges that seems to be the number that they give you right and then there's some factors about that though okay let's assume you get a thousand charges let's say you ride your bike every day and you charge it up every night or every morning or whichever but you charge it every single day well so if you did that and a thousand charges let's just round it off and say it, it lasts you for three years let's just say three years that's a little just over a thousand charges that would be every single day but let's just say for the sake of this video three years that's assuming that you charge it every single day now i don't charge mine every single day i don't know how many people out there do but i'm sure some probably do so if you charge it though for three years every day for three years that's quite a bit right let's say you charge it every other day you don't charge it every single day you charge it every other day well that's six years that's pretty darn good uh, out of your battery now some other things would come into play here is I think would be a big factor would be the size of the battery right like for example I'll use my Rad Rover as an example. The battery on the Rad Rover is a 14 amp hour battery. And obviously with a 14 amp hour battery, you're not going to go the distance you would go. I know there's going to be factors in on this, but the distance you would go on a 20 amp hour battery, right? So let's assume you have a 14 amp hour battery and you're charging it every day well the, if you had a 20 amp hour battery you probably wouldn't need to charge it every day you could probably go to every other day so when you factor that in you probably would be better to buy the larger battery because the larger battery it might cost more but if that gave you twice as much lifespan you know assuming this uh, theory of uh, a thousand charges you'd get twice as much uh, using that so it probably pays to get the largest battery you can get I know there's going to be things factoring in such as the weight of the bike uh, and the weight of the rider and all that stuff but just as a, as a general rule if they say well a thousand charges um, and you got a bigger battery though on the same bike it's obviously going to uh, last you for a longer distance so you wouldn't have to charge as much so I think it pays to buy a bigger battery the bigger the bigger the battery the better and on the aerial rider grizzly when you think about it i run the two battery setup all the time right together and 
I charged them up at the same time because I it, the bike the Grizzly came with two chargers. Now the newer version, from what I understand, it only comes with one charger, which is a bummer because uh, having the two chargers is nice. But anyway, so I charged both batteries up uh, at the same time. So maybe I'm more wise to use one battery at a time and charge them up back and forth so I get longer lifespan out of the batteries, you know, instead of running them both and charging them both up at the same time. It's probably smarter to just use one at a time because I don't know the advantage really of having two batteries running at the same time other than they would uh, be draw you know you the power would draw from both batteries at the same time so you'd you'd be able to go twice the distance but what if you're not going far enough to drain both batteries you're probably more wise to run one battery at a time and saying that right now guess what i'm running both batteries uh at the same time so Anyway, it's an interesting topic. If you've got any opinions on batteries and lifespan, maybe you have experience with a battery not holding a charge any longer, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below and let me know what, what your situation is with your battery or batteries. Um, have you been lucky and not had to swap out batteries for a new one or have you already had that happen or you've had to get a new battery because your battery wouldn't any longer hold a charge through that little turn there is it it is interesting uh, you'd probably be best off getting like a 40 amp hour battery if you could that'd be that'd be I don't know why I'm going down a dead end that'd be uh, to me that'd be uh, about right although I've got 35 amp hour here with the two batteries but I'd like the one big battery as opposed to two I guess the advantage though of two is like I was saying, like you can always have one charged up and swap it out. But I don't know, how about 240 amp hour batteries? That'd be lots, but anyway, yeah, it makes me wonder now, should I be running two at the same time or should I run one at a time? Because I don't know the real advantage, um, especially if you only have one charger too, instead of having to buy another charger, you know, that. That's interesting. And here I am, though, running both. And I, I'm not exactly sure why I'm running both, but I am. Because I'm not going long distances right now. I, at this time of year, I don't go as far. And unless you absolutely have to, you're probably not going to go as far in the winter as you would in the summer, unless you are commuting. And that's your only way of commuting. And, you know, you got to ride 20 or 30 miles, then yeah. But uh, yeah, that's interesting about the battery situation and how long you get. Is it is it a thousand? Does somebody know differently? That's what I seem to read every time I'm reading up on batteries and lifespan. They always say a thousand charges. And the other thing about that is how often do you charge your battery? With the Rad Rover, even if I only rode three miles or two miles. I would always plug it in and charge it up fully. I don't do that now with the Grizzly though. I wait till it gets down usually, if it gets down below, like this is both batteries, below 80% uh, in the 70s, I generally charge it back up because I'm starting to think uh, if I go, because I don't know sometimes where I'm gonna go the next day, 
how far I'm going to go and stuff. So I usually uh, try to make sure I have a full battery. So. Oh, that guy. I was trying to wave them on. But anyway, yeah. So. I generally try to charge mine up if it gets below. Like right now it says 86. Sometimes, no. You go ahead. I want to turn there. I'm not talking to you folks, I'm talking to that lady in the car, but <laughs> she was trying to get me to go and I was sitting here for a couple minutes and I was thinking, no, no, you go, I'm going to make a left turn. Anyway, uh, yeah, the battery situation is interesting and uh, there's some dependence, I know, on, on different things, but You know, it would be neat if we had solar power batteries that were always charging. We never had to worry about it. It was all, you know, just go for your ride and you're charging up as you're riding if you need it. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be the best way to go. Someday, who knows? Anyway, so yeah, leave a comment in the comments below if you have uh, opinions on the battery and how long they generally last. And would you opt for a larger battery like I probably would if I had the option? I always, uh, whenever they give me the option to get a second battery, I always jump at that, so, uh, if I can, so. As long as the price is reasonable and they're not gouging you or anything like that. So yeah, leave a comment in the comments below and let me know what you uh, think of the battery situation. Boy, this is a beautiful day. I'm not exactly sure what the temperature is out, but it's in the... Uh, at, at least in the mid-40s, I would say. A little bit of a breeze out here, but I've got the uh, I've got the uh, windscreen on the camera here to uh, help with the wind, so I don't think you're hearing it too badly. It seems to work pretty well. These are the kind of days when you don't mind riding forever. It's not too cold. If you was out here, if I was out here an hour or an hour and a half, I'd probably start to feel it. But with that sun out, yeah, I'm I'm in the uh, late afternoon here, just past 2:30, between 2:30 and 3 o'clock. And I noticed that uh, I use the uh, battery percentage. A lot of people read off with the volts and I probably should be doing that for more accurate because right now I'm at 83% and uh, uh, sometimes like after you stop like say I, I shut it off and I start it back up tomorrow I'll be back over 90% sometimes it goes right back up to 100% and obviously it can't still be at 100% if you've been riding you know for a while so uh it's interesting there but so anyway that's going to do it for this video thanks for joining me today on the video and if you like this video go ahead and hit the like and if you uh, would like to subscribe by all means go ahead and hit that subscribe button we'd be glad to have you uh, along on the uh, channel as a subscriber and also uh if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, hit that notification uh, bell and you'll be notified as to when the next video comes up. I've been doing uh, videos on a daily basis for the last uh, several weeks here and i um, doing my best to get a video up every day if I can. And um, no promises, but uh, either every day or every other day, um, as long as uh, health-wise and everything else in life as you never know what's going to get thrown at you. And uh, look back at some of our past videos. We've got 
nearing 130 I think it is now videos on the channel so lots to look at if you haven't already seen some of the other videos that we have we have quite a few and uh, also tell your uh, friends about us and once again thank you for joining me today on the video so until next time take care